Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This one will be the energies between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with, what's going on in your connection, how do you feel about each other, what are the energies between you. So let's jump right in for Libra, Spirit Angels, guys. Messages, guidance, please, for Libra regarding the person that they're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What does Libra need to know about this individual that they're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What does Libra need to know? All right, so let's start with what's going on between you and this person. What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection? between Libra and this other person. The six of wands, success, victory, but I'm getting more recognition. Someone's being admired. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Three of pentacles, maybe because something to do with work or maybe someone's putting an effort into something. Yeah, the wheel of fortune and then the two of swords. Okay, so I'm getting a couple of messages here. Um, the Three of Pentacles is about working together with someone else. You're like working in a team, collaborating, and doing that means that you're, you know, as you work together, you build something special or you just build something that's well made, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm getting here that some of you, this person notices you at work or you get a promotion at work or you're doing very well at work or vice versa. But I'm also getting that it could be that someone just recognizes that you are someone that they want to build with, you know? Now, I don't know what this Two of Swords is about. We're going to clarify because this is about conf like conflict, indecision, like someone feeling unsure, uncertain about something. Tell me about this Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here for Libra? Oh, I got two. The Six of Cups and the Four of Swords. Well, I'm thinking that someone's thinking about the past here, reflecting on the past. Something happened in the past between you and this person. So there's already something here that someone's unsure about. It's something that happened in the past makes someone feel uncertain. It could be that this person might not be who you thought they were. I don't know. Like maybe you had an idea of who you wanted your partner to be Libra and this person's not like that or it doesn't fit that mold. But I'm also getting like someone isn't sure why they feel the way they feel or what to think about their feelings towards the past. It's very interesting energy. Like I can't pin it down. And so I feel like this is a mix of both of you. Because this is mutual energy. Both of your energies are here in what's going on. So for example, there's so many ways to interpret this, but I'll give you a couple examples. Maybe someone wants to work on something uh, together. Let's work on this. Let's, you know, put an effort into this and we will have success. We will make this work. And then the other person's like, well, in the past that didn't work. So why would it work again? Right? I'm just not sure. That's one analogy. Another analogy could be, Oh, I'm doing very well at my work, at my project, at my business. And the other person notices that and that they come forward and it happens to be someone from the past and they're congratulating you and saying things like, wow, you really improved or you're really doing well for yourself. I, I love to see it. And the other person's like, uh, I don't know if I should trust what you're saying because in the past such and such happened. <laughs> That's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. It's like on one side, there's this energy of success and admiration. And then on the other side, there's like, I just don't know what to make of this, or I'm undecided about the past in some way. Let's see if we can get a little more clarity with the oracles. Spirit, tell me more about what's going on here between Libra and this other person. Tell me more about what's going on here between Libra and this other person. 
sweet dreams. Your dreams are becoming reality. I feel like someone's been successful or is being recognized. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know where that came from. Okay, tell me more. These are my own Oracle decks, by the way. If you want to check them out, I do sell them on Etsy and it's linked down below. Okay, so tell me more. Tell me more about what's going on here. Tell me more about what's going on here. Horse, action, motivation, energy. Action, motivation, energy. Someone's taking action to realize a dream. Or imagining that they're going to take action. Yeah, magic wand is at the bottom of the deck. Transformation, hope, solutions. So someone wants to resolve something or has hope that things are going to work out. Let's look at both of your energies. Libra, I'm going to look at your energy first. And then I will move into this other person's energy over here. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you because the energies can be fluid. So let's start with you. Tell me about Libra's energy in this connection. Tell me about Libra's energy in this connection. Tell me about Libra's energy. The Three of Swords. So you've been hurt. Maybe in the past, maybe recently. Heartache, disappointment. The Knight of Cups. Someone's going to apologize for what they've done. Or maybe this is what you're hoping for. An apology from someone. Yeah, the Fool. I think you're hoping that whatever issue exists here, someone will apologize for it. Or it could be that someone is apologizing to you and you're just not sure. I see both ways. There's a potential new beginning here. So it's not just an apology. I feel like someone doesn't just want to say they're sorry. They want to take action or want to move forward in some way. Maybe this is why the Two of Swords is here. You're just not sure. The Nine of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's anxiety. There's, there's fear. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups is very genuine. It's a heartfelt message. It's someone that is being very vulnerable. Four of Pentacles, yeah. So I feel like this is someone that's going to tell you that they value you, they care about you, they want to hold on to you, they don't want to let you go. But for some reason, I think that the past makes you question this person. Something happened there. And this could also be a past situation with another person. Maybe you were heartbroken by someone you trusted. And so now it's not so easy for you to trust others, right? That could also be the case here. Tell me about Libra's energy, Spirit. What do we need to know about Libra's energy? What do we need to know about Libra's energy? Even though we are apart, our souls are united. So I feel like you, you, you feel a connection to this person, even though you're not together. You will always be in my heart at the bottom of the deck. Now, Libra, this could be that this is how you feel or what you're hearing from this other person. I think deep down, despite the hurt, I think that you see or you feel something for this person. Tell me more about Libra's energy. What do we need to know about Libra's energy? Trapped in a tower, entrapment, solitude, escape. And sword, courage, defense, conflict. I feel like you're gonna be, you're gonna feel pushed against a corner or backed into a corner. Maybe this person will not take no for an answer 
or maybe they will want their answer right then and there. They're not going to let you think about it. Or perhaps you feel like this person just won't let you go, won't let this go, won't give up, something like that. I'm getting very tired energy there, so I don't know if this is something that's already been ongoing. Let me know if that resonates for you in the comments. Has this person already approached you? Do you already know what this person wants? Are they pushy or just kind of like, I feel like this is someone that probably wouldn't take no for an answer. And that puts you in a difficult spot or perhaps you feel like I don't know, it's almost like you feel like you have to make a decision about this, even though you don't really want to. There's like an energy here of that, and I'm not sure why. There's a lot of complex energies here. This is not a simple reading, even though it might look like it at face value. Something feels a bit off, but I don't see it in the cards just yet, other than this Two of Swords and Three of Swords. So let's look at this person. Tell me about this person. Sorry about the noise in the background. Tell me about this person that Libra is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this individual? The hangman and the knight of swords. So they're going to be talking to you. Maybe they are... Maybe they're telling you that they're trapped as well. I'm sorry we're apart, but I can't leave the situation I'm in. I'm trapped because the hangman is here. So I'm starting to wonder if they're stuck somewhere. But this could also be that someone's communicating about what they're realizing or what they see differently. Oh, I understand now why things went down the way they did. Or I understand that I it was my fault or something like that. Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person did not treat you very well. I think they want to fix something, some sort of conflict that maybe it's their fault. Because I'm getting from this Nine of Pentacles that, I know you can't really see it very well there, but I'm getting from this Nine of Pentacles here that you didn't have, like it wasn't your fault. I don't know. It's it's very interesting. This person could also be uh, dealing with a difficult situation that's not very healthy with the Five of Swords. Maybe they need to be the villain. Let's see. Let's get their energies. Tell me more about this person's energies. Mountain, obstacles, difficulty, challenges. And then the sword is again at the bottom of the deck. So I feel this, this person is dealing with an obstacle in their life or... The past between you is an obstacle for them now. I feel like there's an issue here that might keep your person from doing what they want to do. Or from getting what they want to get. And there's many ways that that could be interpreted, right? So for example, if they want to be with you, but they're stuck in another situation, that is keeping them from you. If they want to be with you, but in the past they misbehaved or mistreated you, well, that's going to affect how you treat them now or whether they will be accepted by you now. Can I get some more insight, please, into this person's energies? I wish I could tell you how I feel. Though they want to talk to you. Maybe they don't have access to you or are not supposed to talk to you. Let me know if this is resonating so I can understand what the heck is going on here, Libra. I am going through a hard time. So they're going through some sort of difficulty. Well, that's kind of clear. Let me clarify this. Um, Five of Swords. Tell me about this Five of Swords. What's going on here with this Five of Swords? What can you tell us, Spirit, about this Five of Swords? Death, Scorpio energy. I feel like they're going through a difficult time. Maybe something's ending. Or their behavior against you led to an ending and now they're having a hard time. Two of Cups. This is a, uh, the end of a partnership. So multiple. Okay. So I feel like I'm speaking to two groups of Libras. Group one, 
this person's already in a connection that's slowly ending, but until that ends, they cannot come forward. They're having a hard time being separated from you and they want to talk to you. Um, they want to take action towards you. That's group one. And this person is telling you they're stuck, but they're holding on to you. That's group one. Group two, this person deceived you, mistreated you in the past. They hurt you in the past. They're seeing things differently now that things have ended. But the way that they treated you in the past is a challenge now. They're going through a hard time because they cannot be with you and they wish they could talk to you and tell you that they're sorry and that they recognize that they should have treated you better. That's group two. Let me know in the, in the comments which group you fall under. But I feel like that's why the energy has been the way that it has because I feel like so far in this reading because I feel like I'm speaking to two different Libras and regardless of what's going to happen, regardless if you're in group one or group two, this person is going to talk to you with the Knight of Swords. They're going to want to talk to you. Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords. And you're going to have to make a decision. That's what you need to know. That there's some sort of action being taken here by this person. And that they're going to tell you about the issue that exists and maybe apologize to you for whatever's going on. And you're going to have to decide if you're going to take a risk on this person or for this person <clears throat> so that's what i have for you libra hopefully you enjoyed this reading if you did don't hesitate to leave, leave a like subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you and thank you so much for all of your um support and hopefully i'll see you on another video very soon take care